who is Trap Beckham? Trap Beckham is an artist, a brother, a father, a son, friend, and a, a dope personality. Basically, I've been doing music my whole life. Just uh, listening to music my whole life. I started writing when I was like eight. Um, started recording on like a tape recorder around age 12. And uh, from there, it just started going up. I got my got my first software at age 14. Started recording in the crib and got better and better. Eventually got into studios. And, you know, I had, a, had my first single by age 18. It taught me that money, uh, money helps, you know, build relationships. You know what I'm saying? It's not always a bad thing, but money helps build relationships. Uh, Cause I actually paid for a feature for that song, and that because of that, uh, that's the feature. He was so hot, you know, and um, that helped the song, you know, take off. So. I listen to a lot of Kanye, uh, I listen to a lot of T-Pain, so like artists like that and um, you know artists like uh, Yin Yang Twins and you know just your bass artists, you know when when I mixed all that together you know you get a, a sound like mine, you know. I came up from that very bottom, had to go and get it. Came up with them same niggas, we was in the trenches. Came up with nobody who was near by the business. Just kill the niggas. Just kill the winners. Florida hip hop scene is more, you know, the more up tempo. Um, it's, it's just lit, you know. Uh, it's, it has a sound of its own, especially when you start getting to, you know, your South Florida sounds. You know, they got a lot of Caribbean sounding music down there, so like, shout out to South Florida. But like, the whole Florida, man, we have our own little club vibe. Like, that's why people like to come down to Florida, because we, we vibe out way different. Um, I was just in the club, and it was a lot of birthdays. Uh, it was like an up-tempo song playing, you know. I'm freestyling in my head. I'm off the drink, so I'm like, yo, one time for the birthday chick, two time for the birthday chick, you know. And, like, uh, you know, probably like three days later, I had the record. So, uh, yeah, it was just chilling in the club, really. And how fun was it shooting that video, man? It was pretty wild. Oh, the video, man, it was crazy. It was, it was, it was more people at the video shoot that was actually in the video it was actually like a real party like we had the whole block sold up so it was real fun man just to have the city come out and just rock with me for my first official music video it was it was big my new song good time um basically you know it's an upbeat record it's a party record uh it has a dope chub rock sample on it and um, basically, as soon as you hear it, you know, it, it rings a bell and it just makes you want to turn up. Um, yeah, like uh, Good Times. It's basically have a great response. You know, it's in mix show already. You know, shout out to all the stations that got it in the mix show, all the DJs that supporting the record. So, yeah, man, it's doing numbers. Might as well roll that um, I have my homie Stevie Stacks. Shout out Stevie Stacks. You know, um, my homie Stevie Stacks, he introduced me to my, my new homie, 2 Clark, which is the a and that signed me to Def Jam. And um, basically, I was just chilling in my house one night in Jacksonville. And um, it was like 9.30. I had never been on a plane, never been nowhere. And um, I get a call. Yo, what you doing tomorrow? We need you on a flight. I'm like, what? what? So... Evidently, like, he had been playing some of my records and they wanted me to, you know, fly out, like, the next day, you know. So, I get here, I link up with the interns, and, um, I kick out three records on the first day. And, like, one of those records was Good Times. So, it was, like, it was crazy. It's like, so we came in and clicked automatically. So, um, uh, you know, two weeks later, I'm flying out to New York, my second flight ever. You know, and uh, I'm meeting up at Def Jam with the people and, and uh, everything went good. And, you know, shout out to the whole staff at Def Jam. Shout out to the homie Steve Bartles and 
you know, to Clark for like putting me on, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'll be dropping a EP at the uh, either the end of March or like top of April. Um, you can expect a lot of different sounds, like styles. You know, I'm I'm just versatile. I don't like to make one type of music, so um, you can just expect. You know, a lot of different types of club vibes, a lot of different radio vibes. I'm real single driven, so um, it's just real up, you know what I'm saying, upbeat. So, you know, it's, it's some heat, trust me. Hands on the ground, we got the big one down. I got a cup of the brown, I'm fucking shit up in your town. I feel like it's, it's very important because, uh, it's very important because you know hip hop is young. You know we we finally got something of our own, and like we don't run, we don't want to, you know, run it into the ground just not paying the homage. Like it's people who done died for this. You know what I'm saying? Died for this. So it's like you can't really just you know overlook stuff like that, especially like when people like put their life on the line for it, just to bring you stuff that you don't even know that you know. You just walk around singing it. You know, um, so. Like, and then you gonna want the respect when you get old, you know? You ain't gonna want no young, young cat, you know, talking crazy about you, you know? So, you know, I think is I think the respect thing is big, and um, yeah. You know, I was always taught to respect my elders, so, you I mean, if you was taught that, you know, that's a given. And, and do you feel that it's a certain age for, uh, Mm -mm. You know I mean, hip hop is young, so like, you know, it's still no no limitations to it, you know. So, no, I mean, I would like to see somebody drop in their seventies, like Jay Z or something, you know. I will, I will, I want to see it. That that lets you know how old hip hop is getting, you know what I'm saying? But until then, you know, it's not gonna happen. I don't think people should stop. Like you should take it there, you know what I'm saying? Don't think you too old. Take it there, you know what I'm saying? Riches ought to be ashamed. You niggas who say you 100, but really be snitching ought to be slain. Hey, we got the big one down. We got the big one down. Hey, we got the big one down. We got the big one down. Hey, we got the big one down. We got the big one down. Hey, we got the big one down. We got the big one down. We got the big one down. Bitch on the talk of the town.